And despite his acquittal in the Senate, former President Trump is facing several state, civil, and criminal investigations. Among them, the DA in Fulton County, Georgia, recently announced a criminal probe into Trump's efforts to overturn his election loss in the state. Here's our own Devin Dwyer with the latest. He's out of office, his bid to overturn the election shut down. Now former President Donald Trump faces growing legal scrutiny of his actions. I think it's very possible that in the near future, we could see a criminal indictment filed against former President Donald Trump. Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger has opened the first formal investigation of Trump's phone calls to state officials seeking to overturn the results of the election. So what are we going to do here, folks? I only need 11,000 votes, fellas. I need 11,000 votes. Give me a break. I identified three criminal statutes which I thought were violated. Public interest attorney John Banzaff filed a series of complaints in Georgia that triggered the new investigation, outlining in a letter to state officials what he says are clear violations of state law. Conspiracy to commit election fraud, solicitation to commit election fraud, uh, intentional interference with an election official. Trump's attorneys deny the call was inappropriate, saying in their impeachment defense to the U.S. Senate that the president was simply expressing his opinion and did not threaten Raffensperger. Four days after that call, the president held a rally to challenge the electoral count. We fight. We fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. The peaceful demonstration turned violent and deadly. Local prosecutors are deciding whether to charge him with a crime. Under D.C. law, inciting violence is a misdemeanor offense. And it's my office's responsibility to investigate whether those words exceeded the First Amendment protection and went into a zone of criminality um, for inciting the mob that charged the Capitol. The president's lawyer insists the mob acted on its own. Just because somebody gave a speech and um, and, got, and people got excited, that, that doesn't mean that the speech makers fault. The probes of Trump's post-election conduct joined several other civil and criminal investigations of Trump and his family business well underway. We're getting documents each and every day. Um, we are, again, seeking the testimony of certain individuals. We are reviewing all of those documents. It's uh, thousands and thousands of documents. New York Attorney General Letitia James has been scrutinizing whether Trump manipulated the value of some of his real estate holdings for tax and insurance purposes, zeroing in on at least four properties in three states. States. Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance also continuing his criminal probe into possible bank, tax, and insurance fraud by the Trump Organization. Trump's attorneys deny wrongdoing and call both New York probes politically motivated. And they've asked the U.S. Supreme Court for a second time to block release of his tax returns. A decision is imminent. And the president's alleged fraud numbers in the tens of millions of dollars. Certainly, it looks to me like the president has some exposure to potential jail time. In still facing fallout from allegations of sexual misconduct dating back decades, Trump could soon face deposition under oath. I do. A judge recently allowing the defamation case of Trump accuser and former Elle magazine writer E. Jean Carroll to move forward. As her attorney, Roberta Kaplan, vows to challenge the former president over his history of false and misleading statements. When we depose you, you're not going to get away with that, Kaplan told the Washington Post. He had the mantle of the presidency, and now that's gone. I have no idea who this woman is. This is a woman who's also accused other men of things, as you know. Uh, it is a totally false accusation. For ABC News Live, I'm Devin Dwyer in Washington. A cloudy future for Donald Trump. Thanks to Devin Dwyer for that report. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.